I absolutely know what you guys are thinking. You guys are be like, you make fans all the time. Uh, we get it, they're cool. But have you ever tried to make one of those fans fly? I have not, but I've thought about it a lot. And I actually made this project, or I started this a long time ago, but then we, it snowed a whole bunch and we couldn't do it. But today, today it's time. Because we're gonna take my Phantom 4 <laughs> and try not to break it. So I bought this new back when it came out and it's been, it's been really good. I have no complaints. I actually still have the original propellers. And that is a testament to not my flying skill, but the software that DJI has made. And it's in pristine condition. <laughs> other, than, other than these power leads that I had, that I, I, I basically installed those for a video that I was going to do that never really worked out. Here's the dropping mechanism that I made. So I guess if you wanna, if you have an idea for a video that involves dropping something from a Phantom 4, let me know, ready to go. But anyway, the Phantom 4 has basically four propellers. It works like any other quadcopter. You got a counterclockwise and a clockwise one that you install, and they're actually pretty sweet how they go on. They're just a simple half turn click deal. And we're gonna replace these with fan blades. We're gonna, we're gonna replace them with a specific one that I have in mind, but before we do that, we gotta find out, first off, we know it flies with these ones, it came from the factory. Can it fly with like a, a replica one that is 3D printed? Because if it can, then we can move to fans. If it can't fly with that, then it's kind of dead in the water. But I'm way ahead of you. These are blades that I designed. I couldn't find, surprisingly, I couldn't find any 3D models of Phantom 4 propellers online, which I thought was weird. I thought they'd be a million out there. So I kind of just roughed one out myself. And for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a propeller. The hardest part really was the the locking mechanism that I kind of had to look at and fiddle around with a few times till I got one that worked. And I think I got it. So that's step one. Can this drone fly with these 3D printed pink blades? Let's find out, I guess. To the backyard. Now I'm pretty confident this will work because these are just 3D printed blades. There's nothing crazy about them. Okay, let's see if she flies. So this is me nonchalantly pretending that I didn't have to print out new propellers because I didn't plan ahead for when I crashed it. Do, 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 do. What could go wrong? Take off. Hey. Point has been updated. Please check it on the map. A little wobbly. But I mean, it's flying, right? Yeah, it's perfect. It's real, real, s not stable, but airworthy. Uh-oh, uh-oh, let's put her down. She oh yeah, we didn't even break it that time. So this actually worked pretty well, other than the, the beginning there where it got hung up in the grass and then I, I didn't make any more propellers and had to wait seven hours. But other than that, once we got it in the air, it did fly. <clears throat> Now it didn't fly too good, it was a little unstable and that's probably due to the fact that I never, I didn't balance these and they're a little flimsy when compared to the actual propellers so they probably uh, had a little bit of a, a little bit of a wobble while they were in use. But the, uh, the Phantom was able to figure it out enough to keep itself in one piece. Now, here comes the tricky part. We need to make some sort of PC fan, so standard PC fan is 120 millimeters. Now we have made a clone of the A12X25 in the past that we could use for this, uh, this project, but I have another fan in mind, one that I've uh, quite enjoyed, the Biohazard. So the Biohazard, what was what, like episode five or six of the fan show on season two, and it's one of my favorite looking fans. And I think we should try to make this one fly. Now there's quite a bit of a difference between these two Fans, this is 120, about 110 millimeters across. Um, where the blades that come on the Phantom are a lot larger and they're a lot lighter. So, well, actually they do feel kind of close. But anyway, the way I took this fan and put it on this was essentially took the same exact hub that I have in this fan blade, the one that I modeled that was able to attach to the Phantom 4's locking mechanism. I took this model, I took this model of the hub and I put them together created one model out of it. 
ta-da! And then I cut out as much as I could from the hub to try to get the weight down as much as possible. Use three spokes to hold the, the hub in place and then kind of put them at an angle so maybe they produce a little bit of thrust. I also color coded them this time around so I know which one's counterclockwise and which one's clockwise because with these ones, they're all the same color. I had to make sure uh, they were in the right spot. But this time, there's no, there's no goofing about. We got it all set. Don't know if it's gonna fly, but it's gonna look pretty sweet trying. Let's look at these, let's get these put on here. Which one's which, though? <laughs> I hope, I don't know if it'll be able to get off the ground. It doesn't look like it has much lifting area now. What do you think? You think that's gonna fly? <laughs> I'm gonna give it a shot. It looks hilarious. I can't help to feel that Going with the biohazard was a little bit, a little bit risky. But we've come too far to switch now. Everybody get the predictions in. Take off. Oh boy. Oh, there's not enough thrust. <laughs> it doesn't know what to do. I think our blade design is not efficient enough. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Well, uh, clearly the biohazard was uh, not the play on, on that one. Just didn't really put out enough thrust. It, uh, you could tell it wanted to get off the ground, but it just, just couldn't do it. And unfortunately, as soon as it tipped over, it was all she wrote. It just exploded. But I don't think we should stop there. I think we should give it another shot, but with a more, a more standard type fan. So I'm gonna make a new fan that has probably about five blades that are easy to print, lightweight, uh, and hopefully we'll get this beast off the ground, I think. So it's gonna take me a minute. Let me design that, print it out, and I'll be back with you as soon as I can get four of them done. Uh, well, at this point, I think it's safe to say that getting this drone to fly at a fan size of 120 millimeters is highly improbable. I mean, there's just not enough lifting force generated by these fan discs to get this thing off the ground. Even when I took off the camera to try to light, lighten, up, or lighten up the load, I mean, just look at the, the disc size, uh, the circumference of this fan disc or this fan blade compared to, you know, 120 millimeters. It's just not working. I won't say impossible because I'm sure that some of you may be able to Maybe I'll be able to figure it out with some clever aerodynamics. But for me, I think that uh, this is as far as we're going to be able to go with 120 millimeter fans. But I still want to make it fly. Now I thought about, why don't we just step it up to 140, but that's not, it's not that much bigger than a 120, so I don't think that would work either. But they do make bigger fans. So this is a 200 millimeter fan. And I think, although the blades that come on the Phantom 4 are still bigger than this fan. 
I think this might do it. I think this might give us enough surface area or enough lifting force to pull this thing off the ground, especially if we use more than two blades. So that's what I did. These are essentially the same fan that's on there now. Just, uh, uh, you can think of the one that's on the fan right now as a clipped version. This is the same fan, but lengthened to be 100 or basically 191 millimeters, basically the size of the, the fan disc of the Noctua 200 millimeter fan. And we're gonna give this a shot. We got two green ones, two pink ones, counterclockwise and clockwise. We're gonna put this on this drone, cross our fingers and hope that either it, one, it flies or two, we crash it. But if you take a close look of this fan compared to the one that comes on the Fan of Four, we're still missing a little bit of blade length. But I'm hoping the number we got will make up the difference. So let's fly this thing once and for all. Let's see if this works. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. The wind is the not helping. The point has been updated. Please check it on the map. A little wobbly, a little wobbly. You, you have no idea how satisfying that short little flight was with this little drone. Uh, after flying though, I will say, very unstable. <laughs> These things are a bit wobbly, could do uh, could tighten up my tolerance a little bit, but in the end it did fly, and that's kind of what we were shooting for. We had to go to a larger fan. Going back to the 120, now I still believe that it's unlikely that the drone, this, this specific drone will fly with these fans. The main reason being is that I just can't get the motors to spin fast enough to produce enough thrust from this specific fan design. Uh, what I was getting indication on the screen actually when I was trying to fly it with these little blades that the motors were reaching their max RPM, so it was kind of protecting itself from burning up. Now, this was a custom-made drone like I've made in the past. I would just throw a, a 4S battery in there and just step the voltage up until I got the motor spinning so fast that it either flew or they burst into flames. But you can't do it with a DJI because it, it doesn't want you to break it. Also, if this was like a custom-made drone, <laughs> based on my past PID tuning experience, I would have probably crashed anyway. The flight software in this is so good, even with how unstable it was, it was... It was flyable. It was a bit breezy, so these giant fan discs were getting pushed around a lot, but didn't crash. But until next time, have a good day. Take off. The wind is the not helping. The has been updated. Please check it on the map.